How to set up payments on Shopify. Now to get started, you will have to head over to the Shopify dashboard. And by the way, my name is Elias. And if you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments down below. And I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Now to get started, you will have to navigate to the bottom left to the settings tab. And right here, you will then have to go to payments. Now as for the most com now as for the most common payment options, credit card and debit card is the number one, but also things like buy now, pay later, bank transfer and cryptocurrency are currently be used quite a lot. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up all of the payment gateways that you will most likely need. Now to get started, we will actually go for Shopify payments. Now, right away, I want to mention that Shopify payments isn't actually supported in every country out there. There are some countries that aren't. Uh, right here on screen, you can actually see the countries that uh, Shopify payments is available in. So if your country is not on this list, make sure to skip forward uh, where we actually are going to cover other payment options. Now Shopify payments, in my opinion, is by far the easiest payment gateway to get started with. You will get all of the basic payment options that you will most likely need. You will get Visa, Mastercard, American Express, Discover, Dynas Club, as well as some uh, pay later options like Shop Pay, and also wallets like Apple Pay and Google Pay, and also Meta Pay. Now to get started with, you will just have to click on complete account setup right here. Now first of all, you will have to select your business type and depending on where you live, there are going to be different options. I'm just going to select the first one. And then you will have to uh, input all of your business details. So for example, if you have an employer in the so for example, if you have an employer identification number, you can put that in right here. Then you will have to put in your address. And by the way, this is just an example address. This isn't actually my address, as well as all of your personal details, such as social security number. And as for the product details, you will have to select the business category that you are in. So you will basically have all of the different different niches that you that you will most likely need. So let's for example say that we're going to sell clothing and as for the business subcategory, we're going to sell footwear. And as for the description, you will just have to write one or two sentences, something like online shop that sells men footwear. And then you will have to uh, put in the customer billing statement. Now, this is basically going to be displayed at their credit card informations. So make sure to basically just put in the store name so that they won't get confused and so they won't do any chargebacks once they actually see the billing statement. Because if you're just going to leave it like this, the customer most, most likely isn't going to know where the payment is from. So I would advise you to just um, write in your name right here. And once you're ready, you can click on complete account setup. Now I will not actually do that because this is a test store. But once you're ready with this, you will then just have to set up two-step authentication right here, which is super straightforward, as well as your banking information to actually receive payments from Shopify. Now once you're ready, you will have to navigate back to payments and then you will have to go to manage right here. And here you can see all of the Shopify options that you will have available. And here you can see all of the Shopify payment options that you will have available. Now, first of all, right here, you can see all of the rates that are going to occur right here. Obviously, domestic is going to be a bit more cheaper than the rest of the world, uh, as well as in-person is also going to be a bit cheaper. Right here, you can then select what kind of payments you want to allow. Now, first of all, I would actually recommend you to to basically allow as many as you can. However, a lot of small businesses actually untick American Express right here because they actually do have a little bit more higher rates than the usual Shopify rates. Uh, now, one thing which I would also recommend you to do is to enable Shop Pay as well as all of the wallets option because these payments right here uh, are actually pretty good because on these payments, the customer won't actually have to put in all of their information like, like credit card information, shipping details and so on because they're already stored in these wallets right here. So generally, it just makes it way easier to buy the products for the customer. Now for the payments, this is solely for you and right here you can select how often you want to get paid and how the payment should occur on your bank account. As for the fraud prevention, I would actually recommend you to to leave this ticked right here and not to untick it. But if you want to, you can also decline charges that fail AVS, postal code verification. However, from my experience, from my latest shops, I most of the time only tick this right here. 
For the customer billing statement, once again, this is just going to be how your payments are going to be shown at the customer. And for the phone number, this is just going to be the phone number that the customer is going to see. And that is going to appear on the customer's bank statement. Now right here you can also select the test mode and this is basically so that you can test everything and so that you can do some test orders which I've currently have activated. And once you're ready you can click on save on the bottom right. And that's it for Shopify payments. However, there are also tons of other different uh, payment providers and payment methods that you can get started using. Like for example, PayPal. Now, I would actually recommend you to get started using Shopify payments, first of all, if it's available in your country, as well as PayPal. So basically a lot of people are more familiar with PayPal and they want to pay with PayPal. And PayPal also has a transaction fee of 0%. And the setup is also super simple. You will just have to click on manage right here and then you will just have to click on complete setup. So they've basically already created a PayPal account just for your store and you will just have to go through the normal PayPal setup which isn't going to take you that long. And once you have activated PayPal, you can also select Amazon Pay so that the customer just has to log in onto their Amazon account. However, the transaction fee for this is going to be 2%, so actually quite high. And also, the, in general, you will have to get yourself an Amazon Merchant account. Now, if you want to add some more payment methods, you will just have to click right here and you will then have tons of different options that you can add to your Shopify store. So let's, for example, say that you want to accept Bitcoin payments, so crypto payments. So I will just select Bitcoin right here. And now we will see all of the different, uh, all of the different payment methods that actually support Bitcoin as a payment option. So right here, Coinbase Commerce, Crypto.com Pay, OpenNode, as well as BitPay. If you want to accept Bitcoin payments or in general, um, cryptocurrency payments, you would have to select any of these Coinbase any of these providers right here and you would have to go through the registration process right there. Now if you are in a country that doesn't support Shopify payments then you can actually also look for alternatives. Right here you can actually find all of the payment providers that are available in your country and I will also leave you the link for this down below. So for example let's say in Europe in Bosnia and Herzegovina we can see that okay all of these payment providers are actually available. And from my experience, to checkout is actually available in almost any country. So to actually add that, you will just have to once again head over to payments, then to add payment methods, and you will have to search by provider. And this is going to be to checkout. Once again, it's, it's going to load, but essentially also if to checkout isn't available, as you can see for me it is, but if it's not available, just make sure to double check on this. And also if you are going to sell a little bit more expensive product, I would actually recommend you to add Afterpay, which is basically just a buy now, pay later feature, which is widely used in the US. And if you're and if you are going to go for the European market, I would recommend you to go with Klarna, which is also a buy now pay later um, payment method basically, which is mostly spread in the European regions. And thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, as always, you can leave them down below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible.